hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute uh carrot pencil case so what you'll need is you need two kinds of yarn one in orange two colors one in orange one in green and also i used a crochet hook which is 4.0 millimeters and i use uh this kind of yarn is the medium yarn so in my country we have the small yarn medium and large so I use the medium one to make uh, this carrot pencil case. You'll need some scissors and that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so in the first row, we are going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five and six okay so now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches so i'm just going to place my marker over there and then i'll go into the next stitch and do an increase Okay, so I'm also going to increase in the next stitch. And increase in the next one too. And also increase in the remaining three stitches. Okay, so now after that, uh, in the next two rows, which is row three and row four, we are going to do single crochet in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so you continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so do single crochet in every stitch around and also in the next row which is the fourth row so i'll see you when you're done with the fourth row so that we start the fifth row together okay so now in our fifth row uh, we are going to do single crochet then increase single crochet increase and repeat the same pattern all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll keep repeating that single crochet increase in the next stitch okay single crochet increase okay and repeat all the way round okay so after we are done with that now for the next two rows which is row six and row seven we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row okay so we'll continue to do single crochet single crochet single crochet and do single crochet all the way around until the end and also in the next row which is the seventh row okay so i'll see when you're done with the seventh row so that we start the eighth row together okay so now in our eighth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll keep repeating that so single crochet one single crochet two and increase in the next stitch okay and repeat that all the way round Okay, so after that, now for the next two rows, which is the ninth and the tenth row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around. Okay, so do single crochet in this row, which is the ninth row, and also the next row. And I'll see you when you're done with the tenth row, so that we start the eleventh row together. Okay, so after the tenth row, this is how the pencil case should look like. Okay, so now in our eleventh uh, row, 
we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so we will do single crochet one two three and increase in the next stitch and repeat three single crochets and increase okay and continue repeating all the way round okay so after now our 11th row now if for the next two rows just like the previous row so which is row 12 and row 13 we are going to do single crochet all the way round in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row okay so do single crochet in this row and the next row which is the 13th row and then i'll see you when you're done with the 13th row so that we start the 14th row together okay so after our 13th row this is how our little pencil case looks like so now in our 14th row we are going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so we do single crochet one two three four and increase and repeat four single crochets two three four and increase okay and repeat this all the way round Okay, so when we're done with the 14th row the other part is quite easy so from the next row which is the 15th row until the 45th row so for a total of 31 rows you're going to do single crochet in each row all the way around for a total of 42 stitches in each row okay so you can do uh, myself I did 31 rows I'm going to do 31 rows but if you want your pencil case to be longer, you can do more rows, okay? So I'll see when you're done with the number of rows that you want. And then I'll show you how to do the last part or the upper part. Okay, so guys, after you're done until um, the last row, the 45th row, this is how my carrot looks like, as you can see. Okay, so now we are going to start doing the upper part or the top part and as you can see I already attached the green yarn so I'm using a much thicker yarn because I don't have the same uh, the green color yarn in this size which is okay okay so we're going to do uh, two treble stitches in each stitch around okay so a treble stitch is you yarn over two times and then go into the next stitch pull through and you have one two three four four loops on your hook so you pull through two loops and then you have three loops left pull again two loops and you have two more left and pull again two more loops okay so now we're doing to we're going to do another treble in the same stitch Okay, so pull through, pull through, and pull through. Okay, and then we'll repeat that all the way round. So two treble in the next stitch. Okay, and continue repeating that so to treble also in the next stitch okay so this is how it looks like and you continue repeating that all the way round 
so until you get here where you started okay so guys when you're done with the the first row this is how it should look like okay so now we're going to start for with the second row uh, in the same upper part so I'm going to place my marker over here before starting the next row and what we're going to do is we are going to work in the uh, top part of the trebles that we did in the first row so we're going to start by doing treble stitch in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch which is two trebles and then another treble in the next increase in the next and repeat all the way round okay so we're going to do a treble on top of the first stitch that we did and then two trebles in the top of the next so in the same stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so one treble in the next stitch and two treble in the next one and one treble in the next two treble in the next stitch okay and repeat this all the way round Okay, so after we're done with the second row, this is how the upper part should look like. So now we are going to start with the uh, last row, which is the third row. So we are going to do double crochet in each stitch all the way round. So it's quite easy. I'm going to place my marker over here. And then I'll do double crochet. So double crochet you yarn over just one time. And then go in the next stitch pull through you have three loops pull through two and then pull through the other two and then you repeat that all the way around in each stitch so double crochet double crochet in every stitch Okay, and you continue doing double crochet in every stitch all the way around until here at the end okay so guys when you're done doing your double crochets you're going to go into the next stitch slip stitch and then we'll cut the yarn okay so this yarn you can finish it up later maybe you can go into the next stitch and pull the yarn through okay go into the next stitch also and do the same pull it through next one pull it through like that and then you can cut it off later okay and guys as you can see i already put my drawstring over here so I did a chain 75 and this is the size of it but you can do a bigger one if you want and then when you're done you're just going to go into the first row of our treble stitches over here and put the uh, drawstring through as uh, you can put it space it, you can space it the way you want so this is how I spaced mine and then you can draw it like that for closing and opening as you can see like that okay and then over here I embroidered some eyes and mouth uh, to make it look uh, better as you can see so this one is optional you can put the eyes and mouth if you want or you don't have to 
okay or you can decorate it the way you want so guys there you have it uh, this is how it looks like as you can see our pencils fit there quite well and this one is good for uh, especially for students who go to school or anyone if you want you can also put your makeup or anything that you want okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern and if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and until next time bye